Hello cats, welcome back to Chat About That. I'm your host, Bella, and in this episode, I'm going to be chatting about my plans for season three. Before I chat about that, I just want to say happy 2022. I am so excited that 2021 is over um, and I'm looking forward to many amazing things in 2022, not just for the podcast, but for my life, for my friends, for my family, for the world. I think this year is going to be a lot better. 2021 was Not the worst, it was definitely better than 2020, but I think this year is gonna be much, much better than the last two years. I also wanted to say before we get into this episode and I talk about my plans for season three of the podcast, um, I wanna remind everyone why I say hello cats. And I mentioned that in a couple episodes way back when, and I think, you know, if there's new listeners and everything, I haven't mentioned it in a while. Uh, So I call my listeners cats because chat about that is C-A-T, and that spells cat, and so I wanted to make a name for my listeners, and I thought cats would be good. Also, I started the podcast shortly after the Tiger King documentary came out, and Carol Baskin calls her followers like cool cats and kittens, and I was kind of like joking around with some of my friends about, you know, oh, chat about that, it's cat, but it kind of sounds like Carol Baskin, and they're like, no, just go with it. It's funny. Um, People might think you're referencing that. So that's why I call you guys cats. Um, I don't stand Carol Baskin, but (laughs) I just thought that was a funny coincidence and connection to Tiger King um, since the podcast was released around the time that documentary came out. This episode's gonna be pretty short just because I'm gonna be talking about some plans for this season. I mentioned them a little bit in the last episode, but I just wanted to talk about some of the guests I wanna have and um, the fact that I am gonna be starting to have guests on the podcast. So like I mentioned in previous episodes, I really wanna have guests on the podcast because most of the podcasts I listen to are either um, co-hosts or they have guests. And um, I just, I really wanna talk to some of my friends and family members because they have such cool things going on in their lives. and. I have friends with so many people in different walks of life and in different careers and hobbies and I I would just love to talk to them and you know chat about their perspectives chat about how they got into their careers or their hobbies and I think some of the things that they do are really really awesome and I think my listeners you guys would be really really happy to know and learn about what they do. So some of the people that I definitely know I'm going to be having on the podcast are um, some of my friends who are actually reptile breeders and if you know from uh, previous episodes I do have some lizards my boyfriend has lots of lizards and I actually met a couple of friends through reptile shows that I've been to and they are reptile breeders and I find that to be really fascinating I do watch a lot of YouTube and follow a lot of people who are either reptile keepers or breeders and I you know never met any in real life before I met my two friends and I would love to talk to them and just learn more about their breeding operation because I know a little bit but I don't know a whole lot about about like you know how they got started into it and everything so those are some people that I'm gonna have on the podcast I'm really excited and I hope that that's interesting to my listeners I just find any sort of you know career or hobby that has to do with animals to be really cool so I I'm really excited to talk to them and learn more about their breeding operation and everything that goes along with that I just find that to be really fascinating another friend of mine that I'm going to plan on interviewing for the podcast is one of my friends who actually is is a mutual friend who lives in Ireland and she has a phenomenal beautiful wood burning shop that she has on Etsy and she creates earrings and other jewelry and uh, ornaments and keychains and all those really cool beautiful things um, but they're all wood burning so she burns cool patterns into the products and I have a, a pair of earrings from her and Basically, the reason I want to interview her, not only because she's awesome and super creative, uh, but because her shop, some of the proceeds go to mental health awareness. She's all about, you know, being brave and sharing your story no matter what it is. And I did um, a post sharing my bravery and she posted it on her um, Instagram. And I am so grateful that she did that. And it's just a really awesome shop that she has. And it's a small business, a small woman owned business. And uh, she is just so sweet. And I, talk to her and she's going to 
be on the podcast at some point this year. And I'm just so excited to interview her and learn a little bit more. I did chat with her um, a couple of times and we've corresponded uh, here and there, but I, you know, I just want to learn a lot more about her and have you guys learn more about her and her shop and see how you can support her and an amazing cause. So I'm very excited to be interviewing her. Another friend that I'm going to be interviewing is my friend who has a small shop also on Etsy um, and she creates um, t-shirts and fun things like that um, all about puggles and because she has two puggles and she started this little shop um, and she does graphic design work where she creates um, you know t-shirts and mugs and things like that um, and she's just a really cool creative person. Um, I went to college with her and we reconnected recently and I really want to talk with her and just learn more about her shop, her love of animals, love of puggles and you know how she got into you know creating things for Etsy, what it's like selling things on Etsy and her experiences there. So I'm really excited to be chatting with her. Another person I'm going to interview is also a friend from college and she's actually the one who introduced me to um, the girl I just mentioned who does the wood burning. And the reason I'm not mentioning anybody's names right now is because I want that to be a secret and to be a surprise for when the episodes air. Um, but she did introduce me to um, that friend. And so she, what she does is she teaches violin and she lives in England right now. And she started her own business teaching violin and it's just such a beautiful cause. And um, she's just such an incredible person. She's one of my favorite people. Um, and I've kept in touch with her since we've graduated. And she just loves music and loves teaching. And she's such a fun, positive, creative person. And I'm so excited to be, you know, able to interview her on the podcast and, you know, uh, talk to someone who's a music teacher and a music professional and how it's like to start your own business and, you know, work from the ground up and build something. So I'm, I'm very happy to uh, be interviewing her soon. Those are all of my friends that I have confirmed to be interviewing for this year. Um, but I do have a couple of other friends that I would like to interview. View. I have a friend who I mentioned all the way back in season one. Um, he is a rapper and he has some really awesome music and I would love to interview him for the podcast. We talked about it a little bit, um, so I'm pretty sure he'll be on board, but I would love to talk to him. I also have a friend who's a marine biologist who does really, really awesome work. Um, she goes out on ships and, and she goes out to sea and um, you know, just does a lot of like scientific research for, um, you know, marine biology. And um, she's the only person I know that's a marine biologist. And she's just so cool, so knowledgeable. I've actually seen a couple of her webinars. Um, and she's just so, she's such a cool person. And marine biology is freaking hard. Like, it's not easy to do. Um, people think you can just like, oh, I love fish. I love the water. I love the ocean. I can be a marine biologist. No, it's actually really, really hard. Um, and so I would really love to chat with her and talk about, um, you know, how she got into it, what she does. And, you know, I want to talk about like weird, cool things that she's seen um, in the water. So she's somebody I definitely want to have on the podcast. I also have some friends who do really amazing cosplay and I would love to have them on the podcast it's just to talk about how they got into it how they make their costumes if they get them you know made by a company or you know they commission them or they make them themselves um and I have one friend who does amazing cosplay on uh TikTok uh, they're actually pretty popular on TikTok and um they make hilarious hilarious videos and I I just love them I'm hoping to see them uh in a few months um, they might be coming down uh, for a convention that's in the area. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to see them. Uh, but yeah, their cosplay is absolutely amazing. Their TikTok is so cool. So I want to I wanna talk to all my friends um, who do cosplay about, you know, what goes into it, how hard it is, how fun it is, uh, and, and all of that good stuff. So I'm hoping that they'll be able to come on the podcast. And I have quite a few friends who do that. So hopefully like I could maybe like put all the interviews into one or do like a series or something just on cosplay. Uh, Cause I think that would be really cool. I also have a couple of friends who were in the Disney college program. And I had a friend who actually worked at Disney corporate. Um, so I think that would be cool to do like a mini series within this like mini series. I guess it's not really a mini series. It's just a part of the podcast but I think it would be cool to do some like mini like one-off series like the cosplayers and the Disney college program and ask them about their experiences because not everybody who does the same job or the same hobby has the same experiences or has the same um you know interests I guess I mean it's a hobby so it's like an interest but you you know what I'm getting at so I I would really like to talk to you know certain people who are like in with 
you know, one kind of group as well. Um, so yeah, I just, I have a lot of really cool friends and really awesome just people that I know and, you know, have a lot of friends who are teachers. My sister's a teacher, so I'd love to have her come on. And I know this episode is just kind of like me rambling about things I'm going to be doing in the future, but I'm just, I'm really excited to start this season three and just, you know, have guests and, you know, be interviewing people because I, I have, you know, just so many ideas of things that I could talk about, but I would also like to talk about these things with my friends. So that's another thing that I'm interested in doing for the season three is, you know, talking about and chatting about um, these different topics, but doing that with somebody who's also interested in those topics. Because I was talking to my boyfriend recently and we were talking all about like 90s, like games and nostalgia and like really ridiculous toys and things that we did, like and played with in the 90s that just aren't around anymore. And like, that's the conversation though I love to have on here. So I'm working on making this podcast a little bit more interesting and not just me chatting. I really want this to be, you know, a space where I can chat with other people about the things that I love to chat about. So that's that's my goal for this season and moving forward. Um, I am still planning on only having one episode a month. I know that that's not an ideal schedule for a podcast. I know when you have a podcast, you're supposed to have four episodes a month or 10 episodes a month or whatever like it's it's not supposed to be a once a month thing but again like I've said I'm broken I'm a broken record at this point but I've been really busy with work and if I want to make these podcasts really interesting and really good for you guys I I want to have time to do that and I want to be able to interview all these people so I'm hoping to do some interviews in the coming weeks and then I'll have a lot of content to edit and work with and then in the meantime when those episodes are being released I can work on recording more so I only have four guests lined up as of right now but I have you know all those other people that I mentioned and, and plus more that I think would be really interested in coming on the podcast so I'm just really excited and you know starting this podcast was really a dream come true for me and I was able to do it I you know bought myself the microphone I, I you know started working with other programs and you know I took the time to you know set up my podcasts on Spotify and Apple Podcasts and Google Podcasts and in all these places and I you know I'm just I'm just so grateful that I have the opportunity to even do this anymore. I I was, you know, worried that I would have to stop um, doing the podcast just because I was feeling like it, it, I wasn't giving myself enough time to really focus on it. But now that I, that I have, you know, all these new ideas and capabilities of, you know, interviewing people, I think the podcast is just going to get better. I'm just so looking forward to talking with people and chatting about the things that I've normally been chatting about, but just doing that with my friends and my family and just awesome people that I know. So I know this episode was pretty short. I mentioned that in the beginning. This probably wasn't going to be the longest episode ever, but I just wanted to talk about what, you know, my plans were for the season. And I know that the last episode was sort of similar to this, but I, I'm just really, really excited. I have so many friends and just awesome people in my life that I want to talk to and get them to chat about things on this podcast. I have so many more ideas um, than I mentioned on this episode, but I'm I'm just really looking forward to this year and, you know, what uh, what is going to happen in the future with this podcast and, you know, just with my life. So that's everything for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you are staying safe, still wearing a mask, still, you know, doing everything you need to do to stay healthy. Um, so like always, stay safe, stay classy, and I will chat again with you soon. Goodbye.